what's up guys this is the bright and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire third of war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode uh we are one turn away of, from finally destroying austria uh so we're about to hit end turn but i think actually what i want to do is make sure i'm building church schools in places because we are definitely if i build this one well, if I build them all, this Austrian army won't be able to raid them all. <laughs> At least one will be being built. And to be honest, in this part of the world we need... There is no Protestantism anywhere around us here, so we need to start spreading some of that love. But apart from that, let's hit end turn. Because the enemy cannot stop us from what we're about to do. Uh, you need to lose an infantry unit to gain your artillery piece. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, we need to deal with Spain at some point. I mean, it's going to make people not very happy with us, but that's completely fine because um, <laughs> we kind of own the world. Um, ooh, just for old time's sake. Let's intercept them. Let's let them fight one last battle. Although we've... This might might go against us because we've actually got um, a lot of foot artillery, which we can't really make use of. But you know what? We should be fine. But yeah, just for old time's sake, let's intercept the Austrians and knock them back one more time because our next battle against them will be the destruction of their faction. They've been valiant enemies, but my economy was able to pump out just so many more troops than they were able to handle, and we were just able to keep knocking them back time and time and time again. We also have plenty of howitzers though, so their infantry is going to be in for a surprise. Okay. So they're coming in from that direction-ish. Okay. How it says just deploy on the center line. You can probably afford to skimp a little bit on defenses on the walls. I think. Oh, I think really what we want is to make a breach. Otherwise, there is a bit of a risk that we could find ourselves in trouble. Because there we go, I've deployed but some of the infantry on the walls and I've only got a handful left to actually defend. So what we could do... Take my guns. Deploy them like so. I suppose, strictly speaking, we want to see where they deploy first. Where they deploy their... Um, where they focus their artillery. So let's keep you guys limbered up for now. There's a bit more neutral. Oh, they've got more to battery. Okay, so we're free to make our own breaches. Get my infantry back. My all of my howitzers are engaging the mortars. They are within quick climb range, so we want to make sure we get them, because otherwise they're going to quick climb our defenses. Who they hit. I tried to hit this line of infantry unit, and it was a massive fail. Okay, you guys get back. Okay, let's get to making a breach. Because at least even with this like, extreme angle, they can still cover that breach. Let's do it. We're going to aim at the aim at this section of the wall and destroy it from the inside. I can probably get one of my infantry, one of my artillery units, to work on a different target. Okay, here comes their enemy heavy horse guard artillery. They're going to do some work. They should aim at this point as well. Okay, so let's get... My light foot's going to be at risk for a minute. 
Well, let's see how tightly they time this. So tight. Okay, good. We can actually cease fire because the heavy horse artillery is also shooting at it. In which case, then, we can move you guys. Oh, a good hit there would have done. We got a reasonable hit. Okay, that artillery piece is apparently not very successful in hitting the mortar teams. We might just shoot at different targets. But when I say move them, I mean right now, if one cavalry unit smashes through here, that's a lot of dead. <laughs> the mortar, mortar crews killed them. Okay, you guys are going to stay where you are then. We can spread our artillery out like so. And then you guys get into the house. And then form up. Curious to see what happens to you guys now. Although I think the answer is. a bit weird. I can just get you guys just to just get out of the way. <laughs> that was a bit of a fluff, but it's not going to make a huge amount of difference. We have killed the enemy general. Okay, let's focus on these guys because they're trying to flank. Sorry, I mute, I, I mute myself to sneeze and never unmute myself. Yeah, I'm going to bring this guy around. It's still useful. My, um, my melee troop's going to guard the artillery. My cavalry's just going to sit right behind my lines. This general's bodyguard. Let's get them out of that formation for a start. Run there, then run here. So this this infantry unit can needs to deploy like so and minimize the number of people that'll die. You don't get a move on. We might get one of these cavalry units out here against the against the guerrilla mercenaries, plus anybody who might try to linger. Okay, you know what. Just keep hitting them until they retreat. Yeah, they've also got some irregulars out here. There we go. So the breach is made. I didn't do such a good job minimizing the deaths. <laughs> and this 24 pounder. Uh... There we go. And this regiment of foot needs to come down to here. And these long riflemen can get down to here. Native infantry guard the cover the gate. These three units. See if they can come over here and man a gun. These three infantry, rather.
them. We do want to decrew this area just to stop them from stop the enemy artillery from trying to engage it. I mean, if they're not going to push us, enemy cavalry is coming though. Okay, actually, I might keep the because the twenty-four pounders are in range. I'm gonna keep the twelves. Keep the twelves shooting at other things. Although I suspect they probably deployed to try and uh, deal with my cavalry. Looks like they have, which wouldn't be a bad thing. But free up a slot, they probably could do worse than to just suicide that unit out into the field to try and. Uh... Oh, the general's bodyguard's going to lead the charge. Light infantry picking people off. Actually, I'm going to get onto the field a little bit. My, you know, my long rifleman gets some hits. Ran diagonally through my stakes. Where is the general? Oh, the general died. But well, this general might not have. Now you run my cavalry close to the wall, so when they retreat, at least these guys can shoot down into the combat. Provincial, Curiosier. Yeah, that's to be worthwhile. I need to get my 12 pounders just to keep shooting at. Uh, keep shooting at enemy infantry units just to get them to rout. There we go. here. Okay, my other cavalry might have to come out now. I think the problem is with these guys, they might be trying to um, scale the walls around the flanks. It's really not what we want. That's right, Cressier. Come on in. I get the grapnel shot detonated a little early. Okay, we go after the Swiss line. Then shatter them to make sure they don't come back. the heavy horse guard artillery up to close range. There we go, they have put, put ropes up to try to capture one of the um, gatehouses, but we should be able to break these guys before that happens. should be firing at will into the Fusiliers right now. I think you're in range. Yeah, I thought so. OK, 
cavalry's making good progress, my infantry guy. Slowly, he's bumped up against one of the defences. I suppose you guys keep going for the enemy artillery. Shattered, shattered. Steamboat, steamboat into the Hessian Jaeger. They just aren't committing. Good. Run back to the cover of the wall. So here comes a provincial cav unit. You might. Mm -mm. Hey, we don't want the general. Might have to ignore the enemy uh, mortars. Swiss pikes, Swiss pikes, line infantry. They always are risk. As long as we get yours as well, I'll take more more reinforcements every day. You're detonating too early now. Although that might not be a massive problem. I think the stakes might be causing issues there. Uh, African native infantry, yeah, let's get them in. More men to man the gate. But let's speed up time, because right now everybody seems... Make sure those mercenaries get taken down because they're going an awkward direction. They're going for the wall. Oh, your men are stuck in the gate. That's really not ideal. these guys want to drop boot climb shot onto us and these guys can't shoot because there's guys stuck in the fort below them so let's give them a run around nope that means they, they these guys are going to be useless until apart from um, melee combat so you focus on them you focus on Dropping shells to take out that unit. 24 pounder is focusing on dropping shells into the breach. I'm not doing a lot of damage. Yes, please. So yeah, I killed a few more to crewmen. They are broken. Grenade guards coming in. Shrapnel shots doing some really good work. Charging in. It might make it. Now they slowed down. For what reasons? Oh. Cost them their lives. And for the Grenadier Guards. Oh, yes, they're being fired upon from the fire step inside. Perfect. Not able to get any more good hit. Not able to get any more um, musket fire in here. Let's 
still they're being they're being pushed back. Marines are in. I think it might be easier. Just have them attack ground canister shot. I think the shrapnel shells are suffering from uh, things things uh, breaking up before they should. the heavy horse artillery that seems to have provoked enemy cavalry to commit well oh, the officer fired his pistol you can hit it's got a weird little cough sound compared to compared to almost everything else more good hits Here comes unit of provincial cavalry coming in. Yeah, I think it would be handy. Uh, ooh. Oh yes, your men have got to here. Okay, cool. So if I run them up to here. They've come out of the they've come out of the gate. Maybe I have to maybe I have to run them down off the wall, group them together, get them back into action again. Provincial cab have been knocked out. Shooters can't um, occupy that position yet as well, sadly. Okay, that maybe they might just shoot into the back of my guys. That's part of the problem. Let's try run, run them over here and see if we can get them up onto this wall or up onto here. Fire into this mass. Provincial cabin again. They've broken under overwhelming musket fire. Provincial Cavalry's back again. There we go. Cancer Shot's doing a lot better. get up onto that section of wall you guys get up to this section of the wall especially because it looks like they are trying to actually attack it in which case sharpshooters occupy the gate african native infantry both of you guys defend this outer bastion now because there's no serious risk of being overrun 24 pounders also attack the horse guard artillery Might be time to pass forward. Not oh, they've given up trying to attack at the top. Are well, they going in? Not through the breach, but standing next to it. There we go. Now my sharpshooters here picking off the mortar crews. When these guys have finished taking up their positions, they should. Artillery will do. Should be able to do more than that. Voice is a bit croaky today. Time for coffee. Okay, enemy line infantry.
Everybody go for that infantry unit. There you go the mortars. QSCA yeah, will take care of them, retarget the howitzers quickly. Just bombard their artillery that's just sat here. It looks like they're reaching a point where they're just going to give up. Yeah, focus their artillery, that'll get them, get these guys to break. A few of them have taken positions. Not many. How about now? Can you guys be lured in? One guy's down here. Don't worry about me, guys. Woo. Okay. Will you guys take positions? Or... Okay, one of the howitzers needs to engage this unit here, because they look like they are stuck. Um, but yeah, by the looks of it, I'm going to drop the recording and bring you guys back. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go. Needed to lure the um, pikemen in towards the end, but a victory nonetheless. If you try to bring us up again, uh, then it's going to be an auto-resolve for thee. Yep, as they retreat back. Retreating back to Austria. Not that it can help them. For the end is near. Mm. Prussia and the Prussian Navy is going to be a bit of a tricky one because each of those fleets are all... They're all super fleets. They're all... Well, they've, they've all got a really strong... Contingents of high quality ships. Uh, Naples isn't such a problem because we have to do is land one army on the Na Napoli coast and then you can just advance up the peninsula and take the city, so that's not a problem. Getting a bit of. Ooh, Ottomans have taken a Russian territory. Well, it looks like they've taken it. Usually when it stutters like this, it means the victor, the aggressor, has won. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry, Ottomans. You're going to suffer some real issues soon. We're about to come barreling through the Middle East region. We've already got a border now, but... We need to deal with the Italians and the Spanish. We need to get a co I want to get a coherent front. Then we can... Attack. Question is, do we deal with the Prussians first or last? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So here come the Russians. Are they going to retake that territory from the Ottomans? I, mean, I think it's a bit of a bug that we've not got any sound. There's the Venetian fleet, there's the Mameluke fleet. Not, we're not really that interested in trade anymore. We've got so we own so much of the world, at least uh, trade nodes. We own so much of the world that we don't really care about importing extra goods right now. Let's check sheet lead cartridges. Awesome. Okay, let's keep on with our building program. Dijon gets a theatre, upgraded to a pleasure garden. Don't necessarily have to, but let's just get it done. Right, so... Okay, you're already on... You've you got your orders to advance anyway. You've got... Yeah, they don't quite like us enough yet. Let's get you. So, Osborne McDowell can get to the border. Let's take one of this unit's infantry units out and replace it with a Gurkha. So then when this next army comes up, they too can have a Gurkha. All my spies have orders to advance anyway. Let's repair the Pleasure Garden. That will go a long way to helping us out here. So we are beginning to slowly convert the population towards Christianity. 
fleet arrives and these are the trade fleets that we're going to replace this battle fleet and this fleet that's damaged and needs to go back to America for repairs recruitment report Okay, that's this army complete. Um, hmm. Okay, because we're not anticipating war with Russia for a few turns, you're just going to go land off the coast of Sweden and sit near Stockholm. Good, okay, you're right. Lots of sloops for raiding. It's got a heavy first rate. All of you guys are going to become first rate admirals. You're going to be starting to really. Actually, you can take that heavy first rate. So we have to do this slightly slowly. We still don't necessarily have the economy to build these enormous fleets all on our own some yet. A couple of armies down here. So they're going to be ready to attack Naples when that kicks off. There's this Austrian fleet that's still raiding, but we don't really care about that. Because this is about to happen. Let's attack Klausenberg. They have a couple of depleted reinforcements. But the end will be here for the Austrians. But yeah, I think the, the main problem is our military firepower is enormous. And right now, <laughs> we need... Well, every turn, the wealth of all of our regions should be growing. We're slightly hamstrung because we're having to build church schools everywhere rather than towns like um craft workshops and such but that's a cross i am willing to bear so sadly it's raining this artillery is going to bombard from range they're going to focus on the enemy um mortar batteries my howitzers annihilate their um Infantry lines, although we'll probably have to advance up on the left. Okay, infantry on the left, give them the skirmishers. We're gonna have a small block of my elite. No, my infantry on the right, sorry, with my skirmishers. A small block of elites on the left with the bulk of my heavy cavalry. Regiment of horse supporting the skirmishers out wide. General in the centre. They're, they're all going to be targeting the correct enemies anyway. Okay, you guys. Okay, so some of them. Heavy, heavy howitzer artillery can actually engage. Waters. Okay, right. Cavalry commits because the provincial cav are coming for us. See, sometimes it just turns them off. I have no idea why because I don't do that. Okay, you guys. Well, then other cavalry is dealing with that position. See, my heavy howitzer is actually in range of the enemy artillery. So they can't afford to stop shooting at the mortars. These howitzers might actually just start attacking ground nearby. The enemy provincial cavalry advanced, but our infantry firepower was way too strong. 
to you guys. Advance forward, skirmishers get into position. If my howitzers are going after the artillery, then my foot artillery needs to support the battle line. Okay, you guys. Provincial cavalry is shattered. Another advance. Okay, I think that's their mortar units gone. So my howitzers get back on to attacking the enemy blocks. So because it turned it okay. It hasn't turned it off, they just don't work. Continental Marines get into the combat. Same with my grenadiers, Republican Guard also advance. Cavalry push forward, we want to crush the left flank of this army. The gun line here is quite stable. Advance the line up a little bit. Through fire is doing a superb job. Okay, actually, let's get my howards to focus on. Yeah, howards to focus on this unit because these two units could split my army in half. Get my Republican guard in a position to shoot at them because we've got more than enough units here. Let's push my cavalry on into the next unit. My infantry will deal with the militia. This unit has to pivot back. Their general charge my cavalry, not on my mind. My light infantry are opening up on their line infantry at close range. Retarget my guns just to make sure they are still shooting at good targets. Republicans push forward, outflank the 5th Regiment of Militia. So one Continental Marine unit push up against the Citizenry. The guards of the Grenadiers unit. Grenadier unit push forward to support the Republicans. My cavalry push forward and attack the Fusiliers. There are stakes nearby, so we need to be a little bit careful. Just don't push forward too fast, but the Fusiliers, they don't do well in combat. Kill those damn Fusiliers. Okay, there we go. My cavalry is free. Infantry unit is here. Push forward, retarget. Okay, the enemy general or a enemy general's come back. Engage with the regiment of horse, there'll be enough to take care of them. The enemy general is dead! The Swedish the Swiss line are attempting to save them. The range on those sharpshooters. Make sure they are picking off the Swiss. Okay, dokie. So they're gone, they're gone. Okay, every. Firelock on citizenry is coming back into the fight. You men about face. Deal with the next threat. My heavy cavalry comes storming in. My artillery just annihilates these troops. We want the Swiss Guard to come back, the Swiss line to come back towards our line. Bring them into range of our muskets. My elites are opening fire on the Firelock Arm Citizenry. Let's give them a volley of quicklime. Just to show them what it means to come back into the fight. Okay, 
I think. My QSCIs could probably break that square, but it would take a lot of men's lives. It's probably easier to come over here, deal with the third regiment. Get my howitzers switched around shot. Attack the citizenry, get my foot artillery with their better range, bombard the square. Cressier are going to dodge the stakes, go for the 3rd Regiment. Barring through, they are tired, but they are. The enemy isn't, in a is, isn't um, stationary in a position to receive the charge. Garrison Line have abandoned their square formation. Infantry in the distance is broken. Get my howitzers to engage this unit. See, there or they are also interested in going after my cavalry, so just bring them back. All of my artillery is going to treat them as a priority target. If they get within range, they're going to be a priority target for quick line. But they don't like that. Well, my sharpshooters are chasing, advancing to chase after the Swiss line. But they're also in range of the 4th Regiment, so... You know, what the hell. You can try run from me, but you can't run from the US Army. Let's go on forward and take their position. Yeah, sharpshooters have much better range because they are actually equipped with the rifles and like the muskets of the light infantry. I suppose actually it's a bit of it's a bit of it's a bit of the weaponry and training because light infantry is meant to be able to shoot garrison line, but. Attack! You can see a volley of quicklime shells roaring out. Hey! It is the, it is the absolute worst when penny packets of troops come back in, into the fight. Hey okay, gunners, take out this regiment of militia. They're certainly in trouble now. Now my, my line is actually facing the right way. Waiting on these two guys to reload. Nope. One volley and they're out of here. So ends the Austrian Empire to be replaced by a newer, better, stronger empire. Bye bye. There they go. Great. Let's get prepared and replenish as much as we can. Let's demolish a couple of these buildings. Okay, so based on what I just said about not having enough money, now the Austrians are gone. Let's cancel two of these church schools. Let's replace one of them with a craft workshop. Let's try and increase our tax base. An extra 2,000 a turn will be very nice. It's probably worth checking our cities to make sure we haven't got any regions still exempt from tax. Warsaw can be taxed because they're now garrisoned. Aha! Bijapur. Be taxed because resistance to foreign occupation is still going down. Up at Lahore. Uh, just because they might get upset, we'll leave them be exempt from it for a bit. Mysore, you've been untaxed for a very long time, but you can... Yeah, it's just as foreign occupation still high. It's going down every turn. Just, just check...
be retaxing most places in the Americas, but a couple might have slipped through. Nope. Okay. Uh, ooh. Morocco can be taxed. Uh, a couple of these territories that we've only just taken. I mean, Cologne can be taxed because they are. They have accepted us. Savoy is garrisoned and it's still zero, so they, ha they, they have to stay exempt for now. Now, Lombardy, get a magistrate. Okay, so that should have helped our tax base a little bit more. Actually, I haven't checked my ministers out in a long time. That certainly doesn't help because our. <laughs> Some of these guys suck. Plus one management, minus one management. So you're just th flat three star base, whereas you are just morally impaired. Boop. Cameron Collingwood, plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice. Okay, you should be my treasury minister. You're only good for treasury. Okay, I'll accept that for now. Okay. Now, I think th things like this at Strasbourg, we probably want to knock down the military governor's barracks because it really throttles your tax income. Can't really afford to get rid of it now. I mean, I have to move my move some of these garrison troops from Cologne More or down to Strasbourg to demolish the military governor's barracks without provoking a rebellion let's try it we have extra troops nearby that becomes a problem and we have dragoons Oh, we've still got some of these buildings we haven't repaired in Paris either. So Paris isn't firing on all cylinders. Although Paris is becoming majority um, Protestant. So we can stand to spread some of these dragoons around. Particularly you down to Turin. Okay, not bad for what was... Not bad for the moment, actually. Uh, you guys go back to Strasbourg. Okay, right, so you guys can actually go to Lviv. Let's cancel the recruitment of militia. Awesome. So down in India, everybody's still on the move. We're still not close to attacking Zahedin yet, so let's just hit end turn and let the end turn phase do all that for us. <laughs> so many armies. Yeah, now we're taxing some of our territories. We should be, well, we will be making a great deal more money. Yeah, we, yeah we're going to need to land... We're going to have to attack the Italian states soon, because that will be another possible... Well, that will be another chunk of the world defeated. I mean, the Savoy Navy will probably tear us a new one in the seas, um, in the trade zones, at least the ones we haven't protected, but we don't we don't really mind that so much. The Italian Peninsula is really quite wealthy. Yeah, the Ottomans sense... In a sense, they now share a border with a country they would rather not. And Russia's getting uncomfortable feelings as well. Don't worry, Russia. Your weapons will come. Okay. Workers, workers rioting in Afghanistan. I'll exempt you from tax just to stop the rebellion in its tracks. 
Let's repair this. You've got a happiness building. Let's get a church school. Construction. There you go. Avoiding that malware. Very important Savoy. We just don't have that many um, Protestant ministers. That's part of the problem. Oh, Polish rebels. Go get them. Forward. And then the what? garrison. Stomp them. See, once you kill rebels, you get a temporary um, bonus to public order. It's a military crackdown. So that will disappear over time, but the idea is that really it goes down by one a turn, seemingly. And as so does resistance for occupation. So that's really quite good because you think you've got six plus six military repression. By the time this goes away, you'll have lost six, six resistance for occupation. So it should. It does balance out. Okay, let's get you back to your holding pattern near Breslau. Okay, let's repair this, repair this. Fleet arrives. Ross Baker. Flint KN for repairs. Unit recruited. Yeah, the only infantry units we're recruiting are Gurkhas. Okay, so Oscar Davis, you've got your Gurkha contingent, so on you go. Let's remove one infantry unit from your army. Place them with a Gurkha. Then you'll be ready to move on. This army, move up. Rebellion in Poland has been dealt with. I uh, didn't finish off this list. Steam Engine Factory, College of Divinity. Okay, top level, top level. Great Estates in Kashmir. More Great Estates in Kashmir. Awesome. Do you have any more towns? No. No towns left. Trade gained, trade gained, trade gained. Yeah, we're still not getting actual Catholic or Protestant ministers. That's the problem. Like, even all of India, how many have we got? None. Oh, there we go. One in Malwa. You don't have a religious... You don't have a um, church school, so that's why you're there for the duration to convert them. Upgrade the port. Make ready. You're... For war. At the ready. Turn away. Yes, sir. Making camp. You're going the long way around along the coast. Foraging supplies. Making camp. I mean, this you just get, go straight on towards Esfahan. My watchword. Okay. So. So I grab is fortified. Hungary and Vienna fortified. Riley grinds. Let's get you down towards into Hungarian lands. Destroy the college. Luckily, it's always been destroyed, so we don't actually have to do much about it. Okay. Klausenberg, let's get a church school and a craft workshop. Fortify the town. Upgrade the roads. The army's replenishing. Upgrade the mine. Xavier Clapton. Position in Lviv. Good, good, good. Prague is building defenses. Upgrade the mine. Can you guys leave? They were an independent kingdom. They're very sore. Ah, I forgot about you. You're going to be slowing down the conversion. Austria, aren't you?
reason why you stubbornly won't become Catholic, or Protestant. Roger Leverett, replenish. Your Murphy Cecil's replenishing. Build defenses. Okay, let's carry on the recruitment of a great fleet. Then what we can probably start to look into is the destruction of Spain, in which case we want to get over to the Americas humble servants. and recruit another army. Any further orders? Recruit another army to capture the Spanish territories once they become available. First of all, is there any cool units we can recruit? There we go, get some native units. There we go. So this army recruitment is beginning because we have to take um, Cuba and Trinidad and Tobago. Ooh, a couple of ports have escaped our upgrade notice. Send some of this good stuff up to this army here, yeah, although you don't need any more howitzers. Probably just disband that. Okay, upgrade you to a commercial port. Now these are two first rates that we've captured. Okay, get the ships out. And then you guys are put, can be Any order? can be part of a trade fleet, but you're really just a bit of a reinforcement for a trade fleet. Okay, so we can move this religious agent out up into actually, her Texas is fully converted. Santa Fe is one hundred percent converted. Movie the most, the least useful way possible. You have to get down to Antigua, start converting them, then down into Panama. Bogota's quite far along. Yep. Everything else here is pretty good. Nice. Okay. 46,000 to end the turn on. That's not bad. Okay, right, let's hit enter. So the next turn we're going to be on for attacking Kashmir. Then we'll have a full-on border with Russia in um, in the Middle East. But I think really one of the first things we need to do is we need to take out Spain. Let's just deal with them, get rid of another faction on the end turn phase. Yeah, there's an awful lot of Prussian armies around. The Knights of St. John need to go as well. We have too many small factions. These need to be dealt with. We're just slowing things down. <laughs> Naples and Sicily. Yeah, now they've now they've got access to the uh, to the Atlantic. They are just absolutely determined to get out there. Ottomans going to Ottoman. We are allies, so they're going to go through our land to attack Russia, which is fine. Eventually, we will not become allies, but that's why we're fortifying our front line with them. <laughs> At some point we need to deal with Venice. I think I think Venice might be part of the Italian triad. Quadruped. <laughs> I think they must have heard me. Okay. Let's see who joins you. Nobody. 
That's right. Get back in your fort. Uh, no, your fleet can do whatever it wants. Your fleet can do anything it likes. Because I'm going to get you. Percussion cap. Awesome. Did that actually get us any new units? Rifleman scouts. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, can we get them here? Sadly not. Right, two again. Great Milan. Oh, that recruitment screens just reminded me of one thing we can do. Some of our um, armies coming up through India just have loads of just have loads of. Um, uh, company line infantry that's a bit boring what we could do with is mercenaries especially because we've got we can recruit 12 of them so we'll be able to break out so a bit a bit more unit variation than we currently are doing trade agreement cancel with venice oh boo hoo okay you man get your gurkha it's like Oscar Davis. He can probably stand to lose two units of company line and replace it with two units of mercenaries. They're more expensive, but it's a bit more fun. You're reasonably varied. You're really varied. At the ready. You get two units of mercenaries as well. Make ready. A couple of these units can probably go. We've got an interesting mishmash. You've got some North American units and we've got some Indian units. Spies alert. March. Probably stand to get rid of a bunch of these guys. Okay, lots of naval recruitment ongoing. Good, 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 good. We want, really, we want our army to get to. Oh no, they've intercepted us. Blast. No matter. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time when we smash the garrison at Venice. Cheers, everyone.